What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we talk about the huge recruiting weekend. It was for Michigan as they hosted multiple recruits for the barbecue at the Big House event. Michigan also came away with a 2026 commitment. And we also talk about how visits went for top recruits like the five-star receiver, Jerome Miles, top running back, Savion Hyder, and Javion Osborne, as well as other top 2026 targets. And also Michigan, may have already found their 2027 quarterback it's all going to be in this video and more so let's go ahead and get right into it All right, so it was a big recruiting weekend for Michigan over the weekend as uh, they hosted the barbecue at the Big House event, hosted multiple uh, top 2026 targets and 2027 targets, as well as a couple 2025 targets and 2025 commits as well. But Michigan did come away with a commitment as it was announced publicly last night. Uh, Brody Jennings, 2026 four-star cornerback, has committed to Michigan as he committed following his visit to the barbecue at the big house he is ranked as a four star on 24 7 sports composite rankings ranked 271st nationally he is a 6'1", 175 pound cornerback from jacksonville florida and uh, plays high school at mandarin so 2026 class is off to a fantastic start they already got their quarterback out of the four star top 100 quarterback brady hart and uh, he has been recruiting other 2026 targets to come here to michigan now yesterday sharon moore he posted the eyes emoji which hinted towards a commit coming soon he just didn't know you know who it was go going to be and then later yesterday there were predictions put in for michigan uh, to land brody jennings as there was two crystal ball predictions put in and an on three prediction put in as well now he is the a younger brother of a once one time Michigan commit Brandon Jennings as he is playing for Mississippi State but uh, he chose Michigan over other offers like Arkansas, Duke, Florida, Kentucky, Louisville, Ole Miss, Texas A&M and others and Lamar Morgan continues to be great on the recruiting trail getting an early start in the 2026 class and uh, obviously now in the 2025 class the focus shifts to cornerback recruiting for him. Michigan did host the four-star cornerback Jaden Sanders as well as the top 100 receiver Andrew Marsh which we are yet to hear uh, how those visits went but there are decisions coming up potentially soon for both Andrew Marsh and Jaden Sanders and going into their visits this weekend Michigan was leading for both of them so I'm sure Michigan was making a push for them to commit and potentially shut things down but Michigan they did host also in the 2025 class the five-star wide receiver Jerome Miles as Michigan obviously ruled out the red carpet and Jerome Miles told uh, Blair Angulo of 24-7 uh, sports that they definitely made me feel like a priority even though there were other recruits there I felt like they focused on me more but he said it was good to finally meet all the coaches in person but he said what stood out to him was the culture at Michigan he said there's no other place like Michigan when it comes to culture now Drew Miles isn't set to make his decision anytime soon and it does appear that he will likely go towards uh, national signing day or uh, you know sometime closer to after the football season because he did say that I will definitely be going back to Michigan during the season for an official visit so that's good news for Michigan also might give Michigan a chance to you know show Jerome Miles and other wide receiver recruits that they are willing to pass the ball more especially with Kirk Campbell as offensive coordinator but uh, obviously we are yet to see this offense in action but Michigan they aren't going to go away from their identity they're still gonna run the ball but they could mix in some more pass plays and i also wanted to talk about the 2025 four-star edge commit nathaniel marshall as he also took a visit during the barbecue at the big house and obviously you know there were some worries that uh, he would potentially flip his commitment but it seems that he most likely is not going to do that and he seems to be fully committed to Michigan as he told on three and the Wolverine that the feeling is the same as when I committed I'm a Michigan man and ready to get after it so very good news right there it also appears that Michigan may 
have their 2027 quarterback as we obviously talked about uh, the 2027 quarterback Trey Taylor taking a visit to Michigan over the weekend and according to Steve Lorenz of the Michigan Insider he said it's early but he is very tempted to put in a crystal ball for Trey Taylor to go to Michigan he is a top quarterback in the class already has tons of offers including from Michigan Kentucky Miami North Carolina Ohio State Oklahoma Ole Miss South Carolina and others but Michigan appears to have the early lead on him as he comes from the state of Illinois and then now I wanted to talk about the 2026 class as the 2026 uh visit list was absolutely insane over the weekend but obviously uh, one of the top targets in the 2026 class for Michigan is the four-star top 100 running back Savion Hyder from the state of Virginia ranked 39th nationally on 24-7 sports composite rankings and according to E.J. Holland of the Wolverine uh, he was told that Michigan rolled out the red carpet for him for him and his family this past weekend. Also, obviously, Brady Hart, the 2026 quarterback commit, he has been going really hard after Savion Hyder, and the visit appeared to go very good, and both uh, Hyder and his family enjoyed it. Sean Moore is also very involved in their visit as well. Now, Michigan is also going after another four-star top 100 running back in the 2026 class, Javion Osborne from the state of Texas. Texas and he took a visit as well so there has been a lot of attention on Hyder however Tony Elford has also uh, made Osborne feel like a top priority it does seem like Michigan has a better chance to land Savian Hyder but uh, Tony Elford and Michigan also going after uh, Javion Osborne but Michigan appeared to make both uh, positive moves with both of them then I also wanted to talk about the 2026 four-star wide receiver Peyton Cook from Akron Ohio goes to Archbishop Hoban High School ranked 228th nationally on 24-7 sports composite rankings a 6-2 receiver and he told Zach Libby of on three in the Wolverine about his visit that it was pretty fun I got to get back up there see all the coaches just having a good time also talking about Ron Bellamy he said he's definitely a dude that I could see develop developing me for the next four to five years helping me get to where I need to go for sure he also said that nothing really changed uh, even after you know the whole new coaching staff he said there's definitely not a drop off at all he also said that every time I'm here it always feels like home so Michigan in a good position with Peyton Cook he also got to meet up with Brady Hart which obviously having a talented quarterback like that will only help Michigan get receivers in the 2026 class and then another top uh, in-state prospect is Gregory Patrick from Portage, Michigan, the 2026 four-star offensive tackle. Michigan currently has the early lead uh, for him. Going to Zach Libby of the Wolverine, he said that it was a super fun day overall. He also really likes Grant Newsom. said I think he's one of the better coaches in the country right now and he also said that it's really cool being recruited by Sharon Moore and the national champions. He also talked about Brady Hart and he had high pressure praise for him so there's a really good person and when they were doing his, his uh, their workout he said some of his throws I was like wow he's really good he said you can tell he's a leader really good guy to be around and he already told him talk to him about building the best 2026 class in the country he also said that I'm definitely going to take some visits this fall to Michigan and he also recently just uh, announced his top nine consisting of Michigan Michigan State Oklahoma Nebraska Penn State Minnesota Wisconsin Alabama and Notre Dame so some good news there and and uh, that's how some visits went over the weekend at the barbecue at the big house. Also, I'm sure people may ask how the food was. There were a couple pictures of the food and Michigan definitely stepped their game up this time around. They were not playing around, but uh, overall, a great weekend. Michigan also came away with a commitment from Brody Jennings, a four-star cornerback in the 2026 class. But uh, with that, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more if you are new around here i greatly appreciate it other than that we will see you guys in the next video go blue